Ontario's doctors are putting in their wish list ahead of the provincial budget in an effort to address health care issues in this province. Dr. Rose Zacharias is the president of the Ontario Medical Association and joins us now live via FaceTime. Dr. Zacharias, good to be chatting with you again this morning. What is the prescription uh, that you're trying to prescribe here to try to get things fixed in the system? Well, we do have a prescription for Ontario. It's a roadmap, really, wanting to work with governments to deliver on our recommendations. Access to primary care being first and foremost. Well over a million and a half people in Ontario don't have <sighs> family care. As well, patients are waiting too long for care. So we need an, a, a way, a strategy to deal with the wait times issue. We talk about a centralized wait uh, referral system uh, that we would want to see implemented so people and sick people can't afford to wait. So people should not be waiting that long. As well, we need investments around community and palliative care to bring people out of hospital and have the care follow them to where they are in their communities. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Zacharias, you're saying that the solution for primary care is to lessen the administrative burden on doctors. So how exactly would that work? You say that it would help keep doctors or retain the amount of doctors in this country. We know that doctors. We know that doctors spend an entire day each week just doing paperwork. Doctors want to spend time with their patients. Patients want access to their doctors, and so if we could even reduce the amount of administrative burden by one hour per day, filling out forms, sitting in front of computer systems that don't connect with one another, populating fields that are redundant, it's incredibly frustrating and time-consuming. We want doctors to be doctors. If we could reduce that administrative burden, doctors could be seeing more patients, grow their roster size of, of patients in their practice, and also just eliminate the burden of that extra added administration that really takes people away from the direct patient care that we want to do. Dr. Zacharias, is that a regulatory thing or is that just red tape? Like, How has it come to the mm -hmm. point where doctors are doing so much of this? And is there a sort of easy solution that you could see to sort of hand off the administrative side of what doctors are spending so much time on? So I've been a doctor for 20 years. So back in the day when we had pen, paper, filing cabinets, and we wanted technology to catch up into the medical profession, and indeed it has. But it has caught up in such a disorganized way. We have multiple portals, multiple software packages, multiple clicks on an average form that a, that a doctor needs to fill out. It really needs to be more seamless, more integrated, and that would reduce the time that doctors spend in front of their computers. And so we need an investment and a commitment there to really solve that issue. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Zacharias, we have a few minutes left, uh, but I want to talk about this centralized wait list. Right now, what is the situation with that, with wait lists for surgeries, and how could a centralized system really help increase capacity? How does that work? A centralized wait list would ensure that those who need to see a specialist or have a procedure or a cancer, a cancer screening test, for example, that those who have the most urgent need would go first. Right now, doctors, family doctors, for example, are just at the mercy of hopefully a specialist has time or is able, has capacity to see my child who needs to see a pediatrician or to see this particular patient who needs a hip replacement surgery. And then those referrals sometimes get rejected because it's unknown that that wait list is far too long. It, it's, it's really incredibly frustrating. And doctors just reach out individually Individually, and we need a system, a centralized referral system to cut down on that time and once again have doctors back being with their patients. Okay, these sound like sound solutions. Uh, Ontario Medical Association President Dr. Rose Zacharias, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.